Hello everyone and welcome to the second 2 and 2 in the past cast history. Uh, this time we're gonna have a match from a WC3L clan war played on March 31st of uh, 2007 between SK Gaming and NOA with SK Gaming leading 1-0 in this best of 3 right now. So um, yeah, this was a pretty important clan war for both of the teams since they were ranked 4th uh, and 5th place in the WC3L regular season at the time and obviously both of them wanted to advance to the finals and therefore both of them wanted to score some points in this best of 3. Uh, so we do see here on the bottom in red team NOA with space on the left side opening with a fiend build order and shy on the right side opening with uh, altar and Moonwell first whereas um, the opponents sk gaming are spawning on the top with uh, x lord on the right side also opening fiends and deadman on the left side also opening with uh, altar and Moonwell first and uh, actually two of the four players participating in this game have already died which are um, space who um, i've already mentioned it in his uh, introduction died in 2013 to his uh, muscle disorder which was uh, yeah sadly expected and uh, that man apparently which um, was yeah sort of unknown until a couple of months ago got murdered back in 2009 and yeah, due to, I don't know, bad police work or police corruption, it's still not really uh, clear to most of the scene. Um, yeah, this has never been investigated properly. And uh, yeah, therefore, as far as I know, no one has ever been punished for it. But uh, yeah, dead men as well as space have died in the meantime. So yeah, pretty uh, heavy if you think about it. So uh, yeah, dead man is going for uh, Priestess of the Moon first getting his uh, Hunter's Hall and first Ancient of War now. Uh, pretty standard, whereas Shy is going for an Ancient of War here outside of his base and um, a Demon Hunter first, which is not at all what you what you would expect from a Night Death Undead combo in 2 and 2 because um, yeah, usually you would just get the uh, standard mass range army with uh, Priestess of the Moon, Hunts and um, yeah, Fiends for the Undead player. Uh, with the Night Death player staying tier 1 for a long time and feeding the Undead later on, but uh, that's not what we're gonna see here from Spa uh, from uh, Shy. And let's see who's getting the kill here. Wow, really close, but uh, Shy gets the first experience here, but at the same time, his Ancient of War has already taken a ton of damage. Maybe he should pull the second Wisp here to uh, help him repair because the Priestess of the Moon and those creeps are doing a lot of damage against it. Now the second Wisp is uh, coming, and uh, wow. <laughs> uh, that man even gets the experience here for the Ancient of War and that's definitely not the start the uh, NOA was uh, hoping for. So the Death Knights are now out space with his uh, second fiend is gonna start creeping the green camp at the same time. The Priestess of the Moon is being blocked here by Shy, but uh, not long enough and it seems like she is gonna survive because she has less mana than hit points so a mana burn isn't gonna be able to kill her at the same time x lord let's see if he's gonna be able to do the block here no the fiend is too slow but the priestess of the moon should be able to get away anyways so um yeah shy is just uh, attacking and not going for the usual uh, mess hand uh, mess uh, hunts on tier one whereas that man is going completely two and two undead elf standard the x lord should x lord did not start his tech yet but i think he should soon do that he's at 200 um, lumber right now perhaps of vitality for x lord who's creeping a bit more aggressively than uh, space here but at the same time uh, shy has just seen that with a wisp the dh is coming in and let's see if he's gonna be able to do a lot of damage here which i'm assuming he should not gets the last hit here because yeah the creep side is almost finished the death knight is now out of mana so um yeah, let's see if actually he's gonna be able to do some damage to the death knight excellent is keeping the fiend next to the demon hunter already to try and do some blocking ah okay the demon hunter is able uh to sneak by the next fiend is coming in for x lord and the dh with 30 hp 40 16 7 HP is gonna get away here, as just mentioned, no more mana for uh, the DK at the same time. Another little undead versus um, 
Night uh, fight is going on here. I'm assuming in the long run, uh, the Undead might win here, but Deadman is doing some uh, yeah, nice nice damage here, making uh, nice use of the fact that the Hunts are way faster than the Fiends, even with the Unholy Aura. And it seems like Space is even gonna fall back here. Let's see his Death Knight has mana for one more coil at the moment soon too, so he shouldn't lose any more Fiends here. And at the same time, uh, Exlord seems like he wants to continue creeping. Is gonna get uh, the level 3 here. Demon Hunter is once again coming in uh, back at full HP. And uh, let's see if the Death Knight is gonna get away here. It seems like uh, he might have to fall back uh, to his main base. Oh, actually, really risky by Exlord here. He's at. 11 HP again and the Demon Hunter again also very low 19 HP and he has to TP here So very unfortunate for Shy TP is gone the Death Knight uh, for the second time rather low But uh, yeah, not dead and um, Not sure if uh, They should really give the experience here to uh, the Priestess of the Moon So Exlord using those Moonbirds now Let's just check the text here. Almost done for Exlord as well as Space. And Shy actually was the first one to do his tech here already. Getting Lores. And a Naga second for Shy. Which might immediately get surrounded. Death Knight is once again coming in here. Rather risky actually since the Naga is right now around to do some slowing. But uh, yeah, with the Hunts and the Fiends, Team SK is able to chase this Naga away and possibly even kill it. Yeah, I think the Naga is gonna fall and he's even turning around. He knows the Naga is gonna fall and he's trying to get the Death Knight and again he gets away with under 40 hit, uh, hit points and the Demon Hunter is gonna fall here to the surround and yeah, TP has already gone. <coughs> so yeah, what a bad start for Shy. And SK is immediately following this up with an expansion. So we're not gonna see some over eager all in push with this uh, Hunts Fiends combination. Uh, they're gonna try and get the experience advantage here. Lich is also coming for X slot right now. Um, for space, yeah, Lich as well. So both the under players um, going for a completely standard uh, unit composition. X slot is going uh, tier 3 rather rather quickly here though compared to, um, compared to space. I'm assuming that's because um, Deadman has stayed tier 1 and already has given some resources to Exlord, which uh, yeah just makes him able to get the tier 3 a little bit quicker while at the same time getting a slaughterhouse, getting a second hero. We just saw him researching Burrow. Whereas uh, Shy had to invest some uh, resources into Lores and tier 2 and second hero, um, which he wasn't able to give his undead ally. So it seems like a little bit of a push is gonna come out here. I'm not sure if that's the greatest position to engage though against this very tanky uh, Hunter's Hall and the Ancient of War. So a couple of drides are out here and uh, uh, Team SK is falling back. Same time Lich, Liches have joined uh, the army. And yeah, I'm assuming Team uh, NOA is not gonna wanna engage outside of any of their main bases right now. So the Fiend count has uh, grown to a number where that man should not be able to fight alone anymore against um, against space. So uh, yeah, Team SK is gonna stick together here. I think two hunts have fallen from uh, from that man. Excellent. Already uh, getting uh, space already getting closer to level four here on his death knight. So he's really quite a bit ahead compared to um, compared to Exlord here. But at the same time, this Priestess of the Moon should have way more experience than the DH and the Naga. Yeah, still level 1 for both of them. Since uh, the DH was mostly busy uh, harassing in the early game and busy almost killing the Death Knight. So still both of the NOA players staying around their main base as Demon Hunter is taking some more damage. But at the same time, uh, dry Dryad count is slowly rising for Team NOA. At the same time, uh, Deadman... He is going tier 2 and he is doing a little bit of a switch to archers here as it seems or at least adding some which uh, is definitely nice against dryads but uh, 
if the hero levels of uh, NOA rise to a certain yeah, level, then uh, archers will be too fragile. But let's uh, take a look at the fight here first. The first couple of uh, hunts from Deadman are going down against the fiends from space, which are nicely positioned. Uh, first two drives have gone down as well. Maybe uh, Shai should pull back a little, which he's doing right now at the same time. I think the last hunt already has gone down from uh, Deadman, but at the same time, we do see here six archers out already. So space has to pull back very far. Uh, Koi goes on one of the fiends from X Lord. And uh, yeah, nicely used Burrow. The Death Knight is taking quite some damage, but at the same time, the archers are doing so much damage against the fiends of space. So X Lord is gonna have to TP right now again. 27 HP, um, unburying one of the fiends, and that man immediately follows uh, X Lord with his TP here. So, uh, yeah, decent hold here by NOA. Finally, some uh, level ups for Shy's heroes as well. Uh, he is staying tier 2 though. So he doesn't dare uh, to go for bears. And let's see, you know, I think that man is not gonna do a tech switch here. He's investing in uh, attack upgrade for his Ancient of War units. He's investing in range upgrade for those archers. So I'm assuming he's gonna stay under 50 supply and uh, then just feed x -Lord as much as possible since yeah, with this uh, only Ancient of War units, it obviously makes no sense for him to get an 80 supply army. Uh, Cryptlord third. For uh, x -Lord in the meantime, Space is yeah, also finally getting some uh, level on his uh, Lich. Death Knight already has the um, uh, Orb. And actually with this Tome of Experience, the Lich is even gonna get from level 1 all the way up to level 3 at the Creep Camp. Uh, x -Lord also continues creeping. Crypt Lord now out. And uh, Counter Expansion is coming from Shy and... Um, and space and they have already seen this expansion so they know either they have to do a big push or count to expand if they want to keep up in the long run Our warriors have engaged so yeah cryptod by um, space as well as the um, destroyer upgrade Your building is not really sure if destroyers make too much sense against a lot of archers and fiends though because there's not really anything uh, they need to dispel and uh, they just, yeah, with their light armor take so much damage against piercing damage. So uh, yeah, still uh, more and more archers, second attack upgrade, so he's gonna have a 2-1 here soon. I'm assuming abominations would make a lot more sense against this, this amount of archers and fiends than uh, destroyers. So 3-3 three, three right now also for uh, Shy's hero, so finally uh, he's got some levels on them as well. Level 5 for the Priestess of the Moon already. So uh, with the level 3 True Shot Aura now, plus 6 on all of the archers and I'm assuming there's something around that on the Fiends as well. Your building is complete. So uh, Counter Expansion is up right now and let's see if... Uh, Team NOA wants to do a push here anyways. Both at about 50 supply against Deadman who's also on 50 supply who's got a huge load of archers Research. in the meantime. And the second attack upgrade right now finished. And Exalt already at 70 supply. So he's adding... Uh, the first abominations he's DPing in right now and yeah we'll see if these archers get in a good position I think the damage output should be too much to handle for team NOA the demon hunter immediately gets uh, Koil Nova is already pretty low but he still has a great heal potion Lich at the same time is being focused Koil comes just in time and Lich still in a bit of trouble is being pulled back right now the priestess of the moon at the same time also in trouble but she will probably get away here first uh, spells go inside of those vulnerable archers uh, yeah, the Priestess has survived, um, he's called now used by uh, Team SK, which healed a lot from those archers, but NOA already has to fall back a little bit uh, due to the massive damage output from Team SK, the Priestess of the Moon coming in here, pretty risky, slow, goes on her and he might have to use the DP here, yeah, he has to use DP at 20 hit points at the same time, uh, undead mirror battle up here, one fiend is going down, seems like the army from x -Lot is a bit bigger uh, than the one from space, so I don't really see him 
uh, being too successful here, especially with uh, the archers. Actually, the archers are gone here, and uh, TP is coming back in from that man. So the archers will now be joining the fight here again. Uh, Cryptlord goes down, Cole comes too late, at the same time the Death Knight needs to take care as well, so two heroes going down here from space, at the same time Exot calls his Lich here a tiny bit too late, so a lot of undead heroes going down, but um, yeah, Space's losses were definitely greater than Exot's here in the end, and therefore Team SK is yeah, doing extremely successful in holding this push here, one destroy quickly gets swept, but uh, yeah, the damage output of that one wasn't really too high anymore anyways. And no mana on the Crypt Lord and therefore uh, no more Impale available and with those slow units coming in from Shahaya he's gonna probably be able to win enough time for uh, his allies fiends to get out of their alive. Staff might be passed to the Demon Hunter, no he decides to pass the TP uh, to the Naga. The Drides here, <laughs> or the damage these Drides take against the Archers is just insane, both of them barely surviving as well as the Lich. And let's see with this Lich gone. Can they rebuy the Lich at the tavern? They probably can if uh, Exlot gets a couple of resources and then Team SK might be able to immediately counter push on this expansion since uh, the Death Knight is still gone. Cryptot already back, yeah, since he only was level 1. Um, obviously is going pretty quickly here for, um, for space. And yeah, Deadman and Exlot are immediately gonna go ahead and counter push here. I'm not sure if this um, if this Lich has uh, Frost Armor or Our Dark Ritual. But I'm assuming even with a mana-less Lich they should be able to take this expansion down here because the Death Knight still is gonna take so long to come back. Actually Shy is trying to poke in here but uh, well he's definitely not gonna be able to win anything here. Um, yeah, Staff goes under the edge and he has to pull back. He maybe could have tried uh, sniping a couple of archers, but since um, he would have to go past Ixlord first, uh, there is no way uh, he can really achieve anything on his own right now. So uh, immediately the Tree of Life is being rebuilt here in the back. He does have uh, Dark Ritual and just sex a fiend here. Death Knight soon back. Illumination is probably gonna come out here. Shy decides to walk and not get a TP, so it seems like they're gonna try and sandwich the army of SK Gaming here for a little bit. So the shop goes down just before the Death Knight comes out. That's obviously a uh, pretty big space is pulling back very far in his own base with uh, all his army. Shy coming back in from uh, the right side, but yeah, it's really difficult to engage here. Right now, the archers seem to be a bit exposed to Space's army, but look at the damage output against this uh, Death Knight here. He immediately goes down again. Impale goes into those strides. Demon Hunter also uh, taking a lot of damage. Heal potion used right now. And uh, yeah, let's see if the DH is gonna survive here. Mana burn goes on the Lich, but still 100 mana, 150 mana remaining. And that's enough for the Nova. The Demon Hunter goes down. Priestess of the Moon also getting closer to. Uh, Level 6 at the same time, the Crypt Lord seems to have fallen as well, so a lot of heroes uh, going down here. But at the same time, uh, NOA has done a good job sniping out archers. Um, Deadman is down to 21 supply, whereas X Lord still has 60, level 4 for the Crypt Lord now as well. As we just mentioned, Priestess of the Moon about to reach level 6, level 5 finally for uh, X Lord's Death Knight as well. And yeah, most of the units have gone down though from Team SK. Uh, Lich barely gets the coil here. And it seems like NOA might, after all, be able to hold this here thanks to a huge amount of dried Starfall now used, but he's gonna have to TP right now anyways, and he doesn't. And uh, he goes down to Fork Lightning at the focus, and yeah, well, Deadman is basically out of uh, the fight right now with only 14 supply. Exot has a, has a lot of uh, <coughs> low HP fiends here, two of them going down, one of them uh, surviving for now, but um, Dust is still available, level 5 for... Uh, the Naga, but uh, she should also fall thanks to the Unholy Aura, which uh, makes these Undead heroes just superiorly quick. And yeah, the Naga is going down. Uh, Priestess of the Moon has been rebought, and SK Gaming is down to only the heroes, but those seem to be enough to deal with this Undead army right now. <laughs> Space sees uh, SK coming back in here and immediately just burrows all the fiends, runs his uh, Lich back into his uh, base. Well, the shop will have to be cancelled here. There's no way that's gonna come up. 
<coughs> yeah, space, canceling the shop. And the Lich also in some trouble, and I'm assuming the Lich might fall here unless uh, he gets a miracle block done with these ghouls, which uh, he does not. So space losing all his heroes here, only the Naga reviving at the moment for Team NOA. But the expansion is up again. But then again, there are four rides uh, remaining. Demon Hunter is right now out as well, Death Knight out as well, and five fiends for space. So with all those units and a couple of heroes, they might be able to push SK back here. Yeah, Priestess of the Moon needs to take care a little bit. There is one coil available for the DK. And now fiends are unbowed, the dryads are coming in. Uh, first coil should be spent on this fiend probably. And uh, Night Elf heroes are also coming in and that should, yeah, Exlot immediately TPs out, the Priestess of the Moon is running back. And yeah, NOA is still alive, gold income is uh, equal now for both the teams. Let's see, Deadman, he's still down to 16 supply, I'm assuming he's just feeding everything to Exlot now. Yeah, Exlot has a huge load of gold right now. He has a double slaughterhouse, lots of abominations coming, new statues Summoning as well, double crypt for Exlot as well. Summoning so yeah, as I wanted to mention just uh, before the fight down here started earlier, uh, with that man relying only on archers, he had some huge damage output, but right now with uh, the heroes 3-5 for Shy and 4-5-2 uh, for Space, um, that's too powerful for archers, so archers are just gonna fall to uh, only the spells of those heroes. So um, yeah, all the ancients, Ancient of War units for uh, for Deadman don't make any sense anymore right now. So Exlot is uh, gonna provide the entire army for this 2-2 two two right now. And um, yeah, Deadman is gonna have to do some badass micro with his uh, solo Priestess of the Moon. Going in here for another Starfall. Actually against buildings it does very uh, few damage so this despite its uh, yeah the good visual effect it shouldn't do too much to uh, team NOA so uh, the dryads are coming are not coming in he's keeping them away only the uh, naga is coming in but TP is gonna have to come soon because the level 3 fork lightning is doing a huge load of damage and that was really close by that man as you uh, probably saw the naga was already doing the fork lightning animation and that man yeah as I said it didn't do too much I mean yeah all the buildings took a bit of damage but he would need like two more star force to really uh, do some killings of those buildings, which I'm assuming is not gonna happen. But uh, yeah, he, he at least won some time here. Um, the Night Elf Shy stayed close to his base, uh, didn't do anything, whereas Exlot had a lot of time to produce a huge army here. Let's see, Deadman still at 16 supply, Exlot at 80, 2 0 upgrades on the Fiends, 0 2 on the Abominations, uh, no further upgrades coming though. But yeah, there's no Night Elf army remaining for SK, whereas a 62 supply army for Shy with uh, yeah the Steam Hunter who's maybe a little bit weak right now, but he has a heal potion and an invo potion, and the Staff of Preservation is on the Naga. Shy might wanna get a TP here or another heal scroll. Yeah, he's getting another heal scroll, and the team SK is sitting in front of the Night Elf base here, and NOA. Seems to be just uh, running there right now, maybe catching the priestess a little bit off guard here. But she has two heal potions, two mana potions, so maybe that man bought a bit of uh, yeah, items to uh, pass on X Lord's heroes. So, uh, yeah, nice positioning as it seems here by SK with all the abominations in front. The Demon Hunter already has uh, taken some damage, has to use the immortal potion here and the heal potion. Uh, the Death Knight is uh, yeah, getting further in the back here, and just as the Immo Potion runs out, Coil Nova kills the level 3 DH here. Uh, with the Wisps, actually, NOA is doing a good job. The Abominations here unable to attack anything. Uh, yeah, one Coil strikes the Abomination, Exos Coil comes too late, Nova goes into the uh, into the Wisps here. Coil comes just in time on the Crypt Lord. Both the Crypt Lords are actually taking a lot of damage here. Space's Crypt Lord is going down though. And just after reaching level 5, uh, the crypt out of uh, Exodus yeah, crypt uh, goes down as well. Really chaotic fight here. And uh, yeah, it still seems fairly even. Uh, all the blocker units have gone down. The Lich also gets coiled too late and TP used by space. So that was a nice snipe there in the end. 
but um, <laughs> both the others have to TP out. Actually, this Priestess of the Moon could be a little bit exposed, but Chai moving to the left side here seems like he didn't realize it. And therefore, this uh, Priestess of the Moon gets out without any trouble. Um, new expansion from x here at the uh, right side, from Space at the left side, but uh, the Tree of Ages right in front of it already uh, killed a couple of Acolytes, as it seems. So yeah, really hard to keep the, the overview in those uh, two and two fights. Seems like Shai also lost a lot of drives here. He dropped down to 34 supplies. Some harassment also has gone on by those drives. But Exlot nicely microing, not letting them pass. Three out of four drives have gone down here. In return for uh, two Echo like kills. So that was definitely not worth it. Exlot doesn't have a TP though. And Space sitting in front of his Tree of Life. It seems like Team SK is gonna let that one go down. The DH also. Uh, coming back more drives being produced uh, by shy at the same time um, it's really questionable if uh, team I know a is gonna be able to defend this expansion here ah, the great outdoors. so the DH is back still level 3 getting probably a new heat potion yeah new heat potion so this expansion uh, starts running here actually two engines of war making their way down there right now at the same time uh, X Lord Going down uh, to this um, bottom left expansion. As just mentioned, I'm not sure if they're gonna try to uh, defend this here. There is no TP for space. And yeah, no TP for uh, Shy either. And they decide, as it seems, to just trade expansions here, which is probably the best thing they can do. So both of the uh, teams are gonna have one expansion remaining. Is Space actually gonna try to engage here? Another star fall used by Deadman. Maybe just to make sure the um, team NOA doesn't dare to uh, try and defend this expansion. But Space is going in nevertheless. Not really sure if that's the best decision. And he is falling back right now. To, uh, yeah, since uh, neither the Lich nor the Crypt Lord are back for... Uh, Exlord yet, maybe it's not the worst fight here, especially with the Night Death army there. Uh, NOA should be doing fairly fine if they don't lose the DH immediately. Cole goes on one of the Abominations, but the damage output is just extremely high. Abomination goes down anyways, nice call by Space on one of the Fiends, and I'm not sure if Exlord and um, Deadman really should fight here. Yeah, Exlord decides to TP out, another Fiend goes down, and uh, Deadman is running away. So right now they're having a bit of trouble fighting here, but at the same time the Angels of War are taking care of this expansion. So Team NOA is gonna run out of gold income right now, whereas there is still one expansion up and running from that man for Team SK. So that's even more of a reason to not fight um, this fight down here. So I'm assuming uh, Team SK is just gonna fall back for now and produce as big of an army as um, NOA allows them to. See, where is the main tree here? Walking up towards the middle, not really sure uh, what he wants there. So the edge slowly approaching level 4 here, the edge to 4 are being taken down. And X Lord, yeah, he just continues uh, producing his army, level 5 Crypt Lord finally back. So yeah, with those heroes, they should have a much easier time fighting than with only uh, the Death Knight and the Priestess of the Moon they had, that they had earlier. So the Tree of Ages is right now marching down uh, towards the bottom expansion here. At the same time, X Lord's army is gonna grow bigger and bigger. It's already up to 65 supply again when he's crawled on the Death Knight. As well as a mana potion, another abomination coming out. Whereas uh, NOA is still out of gold income, and it seems like they're not gonna try and attack this expansion up here anymore. Next fight might start right now. Pieces of the Moon um, invisible, but as long as she stays invisible, there's not gonna be true shot aura. So I'm not really sure why he isn't attacking yet. Um, Demon Hunt <laughs> immediately has to be staffed again. And. Uh, 
Yeah, Impel going through the army and that's what he was waiting for a second after Space launches his Impel here. Starfall is being started by Deadman so that was a really nice thinking here by him and the entire army from uh, NOA is already down to orange and red hit points so that was a really nice Starfall here eventually cancelled by um, Impale but that was a huge fight for uh, Team SK and Exod using Death and Decay with his uh, DK getting 3 Abominations and 2 Fiends back here. <coughs> so that's some nice addition to his damage output. Demon Hunter once again in trouble. Mana Burn and Staff of Preservation used. Death Knight is in trouble though. Going down level 6 for the Naga as well. So uh, just as it was looking really bad for NOA, they are getting a critical hero snipe here. And uh, it seems like the Priestess of the Moon is in some trouble as well. There is no TP and the Priestess of the Moon falls as well. At the same time the Lich is in some trouble. Coil is available though. And the Death Knight has to use TP. The Lich is getting sniped as well. Some nice micro here by Team NOA. So really nicely, um, yeah, working together to get those hero snipes done. And even though they have lost lots of units, SK has to fall back, has to rebuy those heroes. Um, let's see, the dead man does not have to go at the moment to uh, rebuy his uh, Priestess of the Moon. Death Knight was rebought at the tavern, obviously very expensive since uh, he was level 6, the gold mine has only a thousand gold left so um, SK slowly running out of time while NOA is just regaining their gold income. See zero gold for Shido and 35 for space. And actually do they have a, a wisp left? I think they don't have a wisp left. Okay they're producing one right now but uh, with one wisp it's gonna take so long until this mine is fully saturated. So once again, SK is gonna have some time to work with here. Uh, not sure why this Death Knight is staying so far away from the statue. So Exod already started selling some buildings. The Lich is not being revived yet. He does have the gold to rebuy him at, uh, in his altar. Priestess of the Moon in the meantime is being rebought. Uh, did he scout that? No, he was not close enough to scout it. But I'm assuming it's the obvious choice by uh, Team NOA to uh, walk the main tree down to this uh, expansion. Another two wisps are found here. Let's see, in the meantime, a second wisp is being produced just now. So as mentioned, it takes a really long time for Shy to saturate, to saturate this mine. Demon Hunter now finally gonna creep to level 4 here, as it seems. I think he should maybe pull the Naga away. Is it gonna be enough? No, by 5 XP, why didn't he pull his Naga away? Would have been safely uh, level 4 for excellent. And at the same time, Space is going for the Death and Decay on the Altar here. And there is not really anything excellent can do to keep this one alive. So, let's see. Um, he already cancelled the Lich here, Deadman has 800 gold, Exlord 600, so that should definitely be enough to get the Lich back in the middle, but still, the Altar falls, the main does not fall, okay, he cancelled the ultimate here for whatever reason, Demon Hunter here maybe a little bit overly aggressive, where is the Naga, the Naga is just coming in, is it going to be enough to staff the DH here, it's not enough, and that's a very unfortunate and very unnecessary loss here by Shy. At the same time, space. Yeah, they didn't have gold income for a really long time. Still only four wisps in here. And they didn't really have the opportunity to reproduce anything. Even the crypt lord is still dead. And not being revived. And SK, maybe with the momentum now. I feel like they could try and push in here right now. But uh, they are rather chasing after this lich, uh, lich. The Cryptlord is very far in the back. So he's not going to be able to cast an Impale on any of Space's units. So now finally 5 Wisps inside the mine. SK is still yeah, falling back. It seems like they're going to go to the shop and buy for a last time maybe. Yeah, Death Knight is heading to the shop. Our 
gets a heal scroll and in potion. Wow, that's a nice damage output by the Nova. The Fiend had more than half its hit points. And with the Impale, is x able to initiate the fight here? Staff dropped. Actually, the Crypt Lord picks up the Staff here. So maybe some uh, failed communication here. I'm assuming Shy wanted to drop the Staff for the Death Knight to pick it up and Staff the Lich out. But in the end, uh, Exod was the one picking up the staff. And now it seems like it's all going to come down to whether or not NOA is going to be able to hold this expansion. The Demon Hunter is not back yet. But at the same time, a gold income is gone for Team SK. So every unit they lose is going to be gone. Or every hero they lose. So let's see if uh, NOA is going to be able to come in here and maybe just snipe a fiend. Not sure if they really can engage in a straight up fight, like a complete fight, not just poking. So Impale goes on the Naga, which seems to be the most fragile part of the army here since she cannot be healed and they just snipe the Naga immediately, Lich at the same time in some trouble. Starfall used, I think the heal scroll has been used right now as well as Call Demon Hunter just comes back and I'm assuming he's gonna fall immediately again and there's the GG by Team NOA. SK gets the victory here, um, wins the best of three, 2-0, um, in the end they won the entire clan war with 4-1, uh, only Minhyuk was able to win his best of three against X-Lord, and um, in the end both of the players, I think, uh, both of the teams qualified for the playoffs, which means they were ranked 3-6 uh, to six and had to play one of the other teams to get into the playoffs, and I think... Um, only SK made it to the playoffs. NOA dropped out against four kings in the uh, playoffs. In the <clears throat> qualification for the for the grand final. So um, I'm assuming the early game was really crucial for NOA with losing uh, the Demon Hunter, losing the Naga, not getting any experience early on. And that already put um, SK in a pretty good position even though NOA was able to fight back really nicely, especially in, the, in that uh, fight in front of... Uh, Space's main base where they in the end were able to push um, SK back but then again I'm assuming the Demon Hunter remained the main weakness of the army being sniped over and over again even if you just think about the small creep camp the, the green one Shai took in the end if he pulled his Naga away he maybe or he would have been level 4 he maybe thanks to level 2 evasion, would have been able to get uh, Demon Hunter staffed out of the surround in the middle and that could have already changed the game a lot. So yeah, obviously small details can uh, have a huge impact on those games in the end. Um, yeah, also the... Uh, where is it? The gold advantage for uh, SK Gaming throughout a long time of the game Paid out, as you can see, it's about uh, 37,000 against 30,000. So, um, that man obviously was able to feed his undead ally a lot more resources than uh, Shy was able. And, uh, yeah, therefore, in the end, the victory for SK Gaming. And uh, that's it. Once again, I hope you enjoyed. Um, bye.